How are y'all dickheads doing it as I, once again, Duke Record, coming to you live from the studio in New York City. I'm about to do a premiere draft Bloomboro. Uh, this is day one. There's been so many, so many issues with with all of these formats on Arena. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. More importantly, come over to twitch.tv slash record. Link in the description where you can catch your streaming video games, leather crafts, some Magic the Gathering content, and other assorted nonsense every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from around 4 to around 8 Eastern Standard Time. And that. with that out of the way, I have a draft token. This should fill pretty quickly, I hope. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Pack one, pick one. What are we getting? Let's see. Valley Quest Caller, one read it, or enter Scry one. Oh, a two, three for two. That just goes, hey, are you a rabbit, bat, bird, and or mice? That's great. What's this? Beast Binder. Uh, vigilance can't be blocked by, okay. When it attacks, up to one, it loses all ability. If it's a creature, it becomes a two, two. And it can't be blocked by, it makes a thing that can block it though. I think that this is just better, right? Because there's also a lot of tokens that happen to be rabbits, bats, or rabbits and mice, I think, in this set. I think I'm just going to take the quest caller. It just feels very good. And it's card advantage on top of an uh, a lord effect. Yeah, I think that valley quest caller is like the pick here. Let's get used to some of these other cards. This is like a flick a coin except sorcery speed. Uh, draw a card. If you have threshold, then you just... Uh, th unless you have threshold, that's a loot. What's this? without dying oh this is for the bounce deck the blue green yeah we're gonna take the uh, quest caller life creed duo is for this is a bat and a bird okay um hearth fire hero or seed glaive mentor this is a mouse they're both mice um this one when it dies it's a one one counter no when it take when it's targeted by a spell it gets a one one counter when it dies it deals damage equal to its power to each opponent that's actually very good but I'm looking at the Seed Glaive Mentor here, because if I take this, then I would have been in the red-white deck anyway. And I've seen the Seed Glaive Mentor at work. It's very good. It gets it's get it has the same valiant uh, effect of getting a plus one plus one counter. Um we're gonna want a piece of equipment if this is the case. It's also got vigilance and haste, so it's a good attacker slash blocker. And then there's a patchwork banner, which I think is actually really good. Especially if you're in like a, an, a creature type tribal deck because it it ramps, it fixes, right? And, you know, for a splash or anything. But I'm going to take this Mentor. I, I'm going to take the Mentor. I think it's just very good. There's also the thing of the Homestead, which I guess could have been played as this deck. Whenever you expend four, it deals two damage to each opponent. Okay. This thing doesn't care about raccoons, right? There's a Starforge sword. That costs a lot to equip. Crumb and get it. Indestructible. That seems okay. Alana's Pathmaker. All right. Pond Prophet. White Fire Howl. To each creature. If the gift was promised, it deals one damage to any target and two damage to each creature. So that's like a one-sided board wipe. And if these are all out... Eh... Tempest Angler, cast a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this card. I don't know if that's good enough. Spend 4. It's a 3-4 with Menace, and whenever you... Yee, crumb and get it also seems pretty, pretty good. It seems like a really good combat trick. I think I want the Teapot Slinger, but the Crumb and get it seems very, very good here. So I'm going to get take the Crumb and get it, because we do want to protect our creatures as well. There's a life creed duo flyer. It's a bat and a mouse bird, right? It's a bat and a bird. So it only gets the plus one plus one. But it gains us life. So that could creatures control. And if you control a rabbit, scry two. I don't know if the aggro deck is going to be so good in this format, but this is going to be one of the deck cards that you want in that deck. So I'm going to take the two drop here because we're going to want two drops. What's might of the meek? Trample, if you control a mouse, it gets plus one, plus zero, oh, and draw a card. We're going to want less. We're going to want a fair amount of those. Carrot Cake, when it enters in sacks, create a 1-1 one, one white rabbit, sacrifice it, gain three. Okay, Saza Caps Brew, target player draws two cards. If it was pr promised, target creature control is plus two, plus oh. I feel like Saza Caps Brew is not great. Keep Harvest. 
I feel like we did marry our first um, pick very early. Hmm. Carrot cake seems okay. And actually seems okayer with quest color. That gives all the rabbits plus one plus one. You know what? Carrot cake. What is this? Builder's talent. Zero four wall. One or more non-creature, non-land permanents you control enter. One one counter on target creature you control. Level three. Return target from the graveyard to the battlefield. That's not great. Uh, create a food token. This is a removal spell. This is a... Oh, that's that payoff. Eddie Merc Crab. That's not bad either. Um, create a food token. Destroy target non-land permanent. Activate only as a sorcery. I don't know if that's good enough. I'm going to take the Conduct. Just because we need removal. Mm, Valley Rally. Ah, you people got to stop rhyming shit. All right, so Valley Rally. Uh, this is the one where target creature you control gains first strike. So that's a combat trick. That seems good, especially with that. Oh boy, we got to be careful. That almost took that blue card. Sugar Coat. <laughs> that's cute. Long Stalk Brawl. Those creatures fight each other. Oh, that seems good though for a one mana, but it's a fight, not a bite. I'll take the Valley Rally. Kindle Spark Duo, cast a non-creature spell, untap it. And then there's also Changeling Reach. Target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. Um, I'll take the Kindle Spark Duo for now. So as a cop's brew is not. Let's take the Uncharted Haven. I don't know what we're splashing for necessarily. Pearl of Wisdom, if you control an adder. This is so far away from where we want to be. I'll take this guy, I guess. Alana's Pathmaker wield. I feel like that's pretty good. Because that's a card draw effect. Exile it, and then until the end of your next turn, you can play that card. So it's a nice 4-2 on top of it, which doesn't... It trades down sometimes. Essence Channeler. Oh, that's great. Thank you. As long as you've lost life this turn, it gets flying and vigilance. Whenever you gain life, put a 1-1 counter on it. When it dies, put its counters on something else. Yeah, that seems good. Playful Shove, I also feel like we're going to want, as well as Hearthfire Hero and Blight, Bright Blade Stoat. These are all like very good cards. This is a Weasel, though, which is weird because it doesn't work very well with um, Quest Caller. But Channeler does. So we're going to take the Channeler because it's just fantastic. Um... We're going to try to find ways to lose life. It's one damage to any target. We could like shove ourselves. <laughs> um, I'd like a Heartfire Hero or a Stoat uh, or Head of the Homestead. Those all seem like really reasonable cards here. But we got to take this Channeler. I think it's just too good in our deck. Um, Teapot Slinger. Wick the World Mind. Okay. We don't have that many rats. We're not going to activate the other ability. Wick's Patrol. Rock village haste i don't like the blue red sign signpost there's a head of the homestead lose or gain it gets plus one plus oh until end of turn i think i want to go head of the homestead and just go wide right as much as the teapot slinger seems good i feel like this is probably just a better card let's go take the head of the homestead boom blast two damage if it was if the gift was... Oh, wait, what? Excuse me? Another channeler? Are we being paid off for having passed all those all those non-white cards to the other side? Sure. I'll take another one. I'll take a second essence channeler. Are you kidding me? Now we're really going to want some life creed duos if we can if we can swing that. But yeah, I'll take another one of those. You Caretaker's talent. Draw a card. Create a token that's a copy of target token you control. Creature tokens you control. We're going to be making a lot of tokens. I already have a carrot cake, right? Yeah, that seems great. Moonrise cleric attacks you gain a life. That also seems really good in this deck if we consider just a white spell. Um, we're going to go wide with tokens, so I'm going to take the token, the caretaker's talent. Stoner strike. Gain three life if you control a bat. Boom blast. Village. Tangle tumbler, rather. Rough. Shod Duo means Trample. 
uh, expend for. This is hard. I think we want the removal. Gift the treasure. Yeah, I think we want that removal, actually. And we're getting a second one. Let's just make sure that there's no... Let's take the removal. I know, double carrot cake. What's funny is one of those will wheel, too. You know what I mean? Uh, but let's take this, because that's more aggressive. And it's and it's just straight up removal. Rapid response. Rapid. Rabbit response. Oh my god. Um... I think we want one of these, and I don't think it's the response. I think it's that one. Booming Blast number three, or Warren Elder. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. It's a two drop. It's not bad. Haste. It's the cutthroat. If an opponent lost life, it's also a mentor. Number of creatures you control. Heirloom and Epic. God, this is hard. I'm going to take the Boom Blast. Because there's going to be times where you just want to, like, boom your opponent out of the game. There's the wheeled head of the homestead. That's fantastic. Um, one man of any color. Rock face village. Only to cast a creature. Or teapot slinger. Yeah, let's take the village. There's another path maker. Valley rally. We already have one of those. Pleated provisioner. I'm target creature control without flying. We do want some flyers, so I'm going to take that, actually. Nothing good here. And Roughshod Duo. I'll take it. Uh, Builder's Talent, what do you do? Make a token. Wall with Defender. Okay, we've already seen that. Jolly Durables. Whenever you give a gift, draw a card. I don't think we're going to be gifting too many gifts. Oh, there's a Hunter Talent. Polly, Wallop, that's not for us. Realm of Art Captain. So our creature you control gets plus X plus O, where X is its power. Three damage, target creature, you can discard if you do draw a card. That seems good, but this targets every turn, and that's the thing that we want in, that's an effect that we want in this red-white deck, right? It's, yeah, target creature you control gets plus X plus O, where X is its power. So we want that to happen every turn. It's just a free, a free, um, one of those effects. Oh, hello. Add one man of any color, draw a card. Put three 1-1 one, one counters on... Da, da, da. It gains trample until end of turn. It's also a grotto. I think we could take this. We have a, we're have we going to be having a lot of tokens, but maybe I should just take this thing and not, like, splash for something silly. Is that is that unreasonable? When it dies, it deals one damage to each target player. That seems good, too. I think... There's also no we we I think we want to take the Moonrise Cleric instead. And I'm I know I know I know. Valiant when it's uh, the first time each turn mice you control get plus one plus oh until end of turn. That seems okay. What's blacksmith's talent? This makes the sword. Yeah, that's that's actually really good. We might want to get another sword haver. This also seems pretty good. I think we want to take this this talent, actually. Um, as much as I'd like... God, that's a one-drop? They're both one-drops. I'm going to take the, the sword. Feather of Flight. That's great, actually. There's also another Seed Glaive Mentor, though. God. Ah, I got to take the Mentor. I'm sorry. These are just so good. Um, Brazen Collector. When it attacks. Get that. There's also a Short Bow. I might want the short bow. Kindle Spark Duo. How are we doing on creatures? We have a lot of creatures. Don't lose this mana in steps and phases. And let's take the short bow. I think we need the short bow over that thing. Uh, Harnesser of Storms. Exile the top until end of turn. Agate Assault. Four damage. Target creature. It's also a Burrow Guard Mentor. One of those Galewind Moose Mises. Well, you may discard if you do draw a card. I think we need the Agate Assault. We need the removal. Wildfire Howl. Might of the Meek. Um, I'm going to take the Might of the Meek here. I, I feel like Howl is going to just kill our creatures inadvertently. Uh, War Squeak. Target creature and opponent controls. Can't block. Plus one, plus one in haste. That doesn't seem good. 
without flying gets no. We could actually play this as opposed to that. Uh, Tempest Angler is probably the most playable card here, but I don't think we're playing it. I think that's the uh, first cut. And in fact, whoop. hmm. We're going to be playing a, a weird tokens deck. We're going to be playing Valiant Tokens. Crumb and get it as a one of. Might of the Meek as a one of. Carrot Cake. Uh, I might have to cut that. Essence Chandler as a two of. I wish we got some more Life Creed duos. I really do, guys. Um, Hidden Grotto seems okay, but what's this? Oh, yeah, that wheel. Perfect. That's a token, too. Uh, War Squeak is not for us, but I will take it. Uh, cash Grab, sure. And another duo. Alright. My cat's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, we have to cut it down. We have 18 creatures, so we we'll probably can cut down one of those, actually. Um, let's do this. T. Cree. This will be when I find out I didn't start recording. Cool. All right, so we have a lot of creatures. Might of the Meek is fine. His talent's fine. Crumb and get it's fine. Carrot Cake is suspect. Booming Blast is removal. We need that. Valley Rally... Is a combat trick. Agate Assault is removal. We need that. Caretaker's Talent is token stuff. Creature tokens you control get plus two, plus two. We're doing like Anthem stuff too. All right, so... <sighs> Third creature control without flying. Without flying. This is a flyer, but it, it targets a creature without flying. That's very important here. Um, I'm going to cut the Carrot Cake, actually. And I think we can cut the Conduct Electricity. I don't think we want to go that high. Um, creatures, you, This is an uncommon? The Trumpet Blast is an uncommon? Alright. Um, crumb and get it. I wish we had another Life Creed duo. Uh, let's see. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, untap it. Whenever you expend for target creature, target creature, target creature, that's important. Gets plus one, plus oh, or plus one, plus one to trample. Right, we want to be, t um, we want to be triggering that a lot. Pathmaker's card advantage. I don't think we need the haven. Didn't I take a, um, a grotto? I don't think, all right. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control without flying, but I think... Uh, you know what? Let's cut ahead of the homestead. Oh no, what did it do? Wait, hold on. Maybe we cut the caretaker's talent. How much does it cost to bring it all the way up? Four, eight. Eight mana to get to... Creature tokens you control get plus two, plus two. Uh, draw a card. This only triggers once each turn. All right, let's get rid of that. Sorry. Sorry, I was trying to meme too hard, guys. Uh, this targets, this targets. This is just card advantage. I'd rather have the caretaker's talent, if anything. How many creatures do we have? 17? All right. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh god all right so let's cut one boom blast and we have a pretty low curve so let's cut a planes right yeah let's cut a planes cut a planes 14 15 16 lands there's one card that we need to get rid of i think it might be might on the meek Trample until end of turn only. Yeah, let's get rid of Might. Because Crumb is, I think, just better. Indestructible as a combat trick that also is win combat. I think it's just better. All right. This seems good. We cut ourselves down to 40 cards exactly. Oh, no. Going into round one. On day one, Premier Draft Sealed with Boros Valiant. Um, most of our cards do something that targets our creatures, so hopefully this will actually be awesome. Mmm, sure. 
What's this? Enders choose a color. White. Okay, Life Creed Duo. Um, oh. Let's just play ours. And I think next turn we just play the Channeler. Nettle Guard. Okay. I don't block that. No blocks. Because if they have the combat trick, that ruins my whole day. Um, blue. Essence Channeler. Gain a life. 1-1 one, one counter on it. Hit him with this. And I think next turn, we just do this, right? Sure. Uh, play this. Oh, it's when it attacks. Okay, never mind. So... The best use of my mana would be to do this. I'm going to be patient and not attack with the Essence Channeler. If they use the, uh, the, the combat trick here, that's fine. Roman, get it. Okay. I just want that out of their hand. Uh, let's see. When it enters, each opponent loses two life and you gain two. Okay. And now this has flying. That's kind of cool. Sure. Did I block this? I don't think so. Alright, so how's this work? Plus two plus O. Oh. If the gift was promised, target creature control gets first strike until end of turn. So we're gonna play this. And then we're gonna leave up Valley Rally. Uh Sure. Sure. Uh I'm gonna get the food here. Creature I control gains first strike. There we go. GG. Good game. Good game. Sorry. Sorry, opponent. I'm sorry that my 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 turn was just so fat. Our our turn our booty was just too thick. Just too thick with all these friggin' rares. I'm sorry. We have too many rares. This almost is it the the, the number of like two of that we have in this deck kind of make it feel like we're gonna be playing um Bloomboro block constructed, right? It's like, oh yeah, two drop into that, into that. It's like, they got me with a combat trick. It's only fair, right? Um, I think I have to mulligan this. We are first. Eesh, mulligan. I need a red end up. Okay. Um, Keep this. Essence Channeler. Okay. Alright. Channeler. They're like, I have to read that. That's a lot of text. Why is there so much text on that? I would have liked to have gotten more of those flyers. The uh the the life gain do things. Plus on plus one, yeah, I can't block it. Alright. Oh, so uh, another land isn't great here. That also them tapping the two to give this plus one plus one like tells me they have nothing. Okay. Two two sure. Um, play this. Uh, put this on that, and this in.
Is this during your turn? Equip creatures you control have double strike and haste. Sun spine links. Oh no. Okay. Well. Um. Could be eight. It's eight damage. It's got trample and double strike. Like, this seems silly and obnoxious. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's eight. It's an aggro deck that's got trample. Like, even if you block it, like, you might lose a bunch of stuff. This is a removal spell now. We do have the short bow also in the deck. Uh, during your turn, equip creatures you control have double strike and haste. Wild. Absolutely wild. Meanwhile, we've drawn only lands. Opponents at six. Yeah, they're like, I got a block. Drawn more lands. Yeah. Your creatures still might be dead. I guess if they have a pump spell. Valley rally. Oh, okay, we're treating them. Um sure. Uh put this on that. They gave me a way to gain life, too. So... Whenever you... Da, 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 draw us two cards. Gift was promised. I'm gonna sacrifice this now, actually. Because this gains me life, and then it puts tokens on these two. Sure. So this is still a 4-3 a with um, double strike when it comes to combat. <laughs> Expend only counts when you cast spells. Okay, so even though I'm only playing 16 lands, by the way, uh, we've drawn seven of them. It's almost like we're fated to lose this fucking match. And we have our opponent at 6 too, which is like the wildest shit. Opponent just has not removed anything. And I can't look at their graveyard because of how this shit works. Um, they're in black, red. So there is a way for black to remove spells uh, or remove enchantments in this format. There's a, it's, it's five mana though. It's target opponent sacrifices. Menace and reach. Okay. What the fuck? Submit zero. It's a four three. I would love to not draw another goddamn land. Can we have that, please? That's my eighth goddamn land. That's half the lands in my deck. What's my chances of not drawing a land? 71%. I'm allowed to be a little annoyed here. Reptilian Recruiter, what do you do? Oh god. Alright, well. I guess they hit me for four. What else do you do? Okay. Kinder Spark Duo. I'm just gonna swing here. Uh... Submit zero. Get in with our double striker. Sure. I actually don't mind the two for one here. Plus we get to put tokens on Essence Channeler. I probably should have played a creature beforehand. Uh... Oh, they just don't have anything. Um, we'll make this slightly bigger so that they can't just kill it and turn. 
And then this can just nug them out for one a turn. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell. Yep. Oh my god. Send it zero. Okay, indestructible and lifelink. That's pretty good here. Uh, it's because we managed to draw nothing. Which is lovely. I love drawing nothing. In turn. I love when I draw nothing in my aggro deck. It's just, it's the funnest sensation to draw nothing. Fuck you. Smith Zero. Yeah, whatever. One turn. Oh, do they have like two damage and instant speed? Oh, thank God. I was about to be the maddest I've ever been in my entire fucking life. Because we had, like, a great start, and then, like, we just continued to draw nothing. Look at this shit. Um, here. Have a short bow. Oh. Tap you. Bing ya. That's so frustrating. That is so incredibly frustrating. It's like, here's nothing. Here's nothing. Here's nothing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. View battlefield. Because I drew two more lands after I, I said like, oh yeah, I have a 71% chance of not drawing any more lands. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Out of 16. Out of 16 lands. That's annoying. That's annoying. That's that's like not even variants. That's just like, you should become a shuffler truther. No. Don't 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 even joke about that. Alright. Here's our next opponent. We're 2-0. Oh. After a moderately salty last match where all I did was draw lands and we still won. We still won, somehow, um, which is wild. <clears throat> ah, let's see. Okay, this seems fine, keep. Play this as a white source. Valley Mist Caller. Alright, so hold on, what do you do? Put a... Oh, oof. Okay. This might be a short one. <laughs> this might be a short one! Uh, whenever a frog, rabbit, raccoon, or squirrel enters... There's a frog. Oh god. This is the one that puts a counter on something else. Or anything, really. So it's a 3-3 with Trample. Cool. <gasps> cool. Uh, cool. And we're doing the thing again where we're drawing only lands. I would have liked a 2-drop. No? Not not allowed for me? Left top lookout. That's pretty good. Frog. Alright. They ramped into another land. Sure. Play this. Play this. Brave Kin Duo. Oh god, it's a 5-5. Five five. Oh god, it's a 6-6. Six six. Oh no, it's not. Okay. No blocks. Oh. Okay. Does this come into play tapped? No. Alright, so... If I play this, it then targets this. Alright, we're getting the three for one. Is this another target creature? Okay. Oh boy, that's a four five. It's a six six. No blocks here. I haven't had no way to deal with this might caller turn one. Um Trample. That's not going to be enough, right? Oh, wait. Cancel. Oh, was I supposed to play that first? Yeah. Yeah, not good enough. Good game. Good dude. Ah! Uh, Jesus Christ! 
Did you guys see that? Look at this little guy. I'm a 1-1, one -one, but I'm also a shit shit. Get fucked. Oh, <laughs> that felt so bad. Um, yeah, that was insane. That that little guy right there. That little guy is such as a little guy. Insane. Absolutely nuts. Um, nuttier than a squirrel turd. Speaking of which, here's our next opponent. Um, we're two and one. Um, okay. We could turn one. Sure. Uh, I'd like a two, a two drop, please. Two drop. I would like a two drop. Okay. So they got a one three. Blacksmith's talent. This is a two drop, technically. Um. Yep. Hit me. Hit me. This is not what I meant when I said two drop, though. So like. That's a hundred percent not what I meant when I said two drop. Yeah. Oh, opponent missing their land drops. Cool. That's like not a good card. Ah. Uh. And we are hitting every every land, every just every land. Target equipment I control. Submit zero. Fucking hell. Are we gonna get soloed by a fucking one three? Okay. Target equipment I control. Target funny, I guess. I don't know. like i don't know they hit the third land we're like in the exact opposite position where it's like oh yeah here's here's our um here's our everything long river lurker okay other frogs you control have work one okay so they're getting in can't be blocked and they bounce it you put a token on that sure um play this how much is this I'll play this. Um, target equipment I control. Yep. It's got double strike, baby. And next turn I get to play Pleated Provisioner, put a token on this Essence Chandler, put this equipment on the Pleated Provisioner, attack with that in the air as a 4-5 with Double Strike. Uh, this is going to be a 3-2, this is going to be a 3-2, this is going to be a 2-2 two -two with Double Strike. Like, it, it's nice to be able to like cast the things that we want to cast, right? But also, like, I would like to be able to... Um, you know. I put a token on that. Do this. This on you. Oh. Uh, yeah. Sure. Hands empty. If they have a board wipe, so be it, right? Um, this can go on this now, and that's gonna hit them in the air for five. And I think next turn we just swing out, regardless. Reach. Alright. You may forage if you do draw a card. They have- they can, if they want to. Uh... <laughs> what is this? Two damage to target creature? I'm going to get the treasure here.
There we go. Good game. A little bit of the uh, old aggro play of like, let me just hit you, baby. Uh, let's see. This blocks this, and then they take eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, yeah. Leave match. Um, we're getting some some incredibly bad variants in terms of like, here. Would you like to just um not cast your spells? Cool. All right, three and one. Or not not cast your spells. Um, hey, would you like another land? No. Here you go. Here's another land. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it so much. This is like perfect. It's not perfect. I'd like a two drop. This would have been better with a two drop. Um, but we can keep this. I get assault. Under spark duel. That's not what I meant when I said we want like a small creature spell or whatever to cast. Cool. I think we're gonna play the Kinder Spark Duel next. Kinder Spark. Kindle spark. Duo. Duo. Du okay. Play this. Play the duo. Uh, what do you do? When it enters, target creature gets plus one plus one. Okay. I think we just play the Pathmaker. Oh, yeah. Especially because I can't block that now. Oh, and they. Ooh, that's a big boy. No blocks. Look at this little guy. Alright, so... It's until the end of my next turn, so... Bloop. And it's a land. Um, next. No tax, end turn. We'll just trade for one of these. And that's the best he can do. Because he's a cute little guy. Uh... The only problem that I have with that is that... I don't need this. Let it go. Ugh. Isn't it shitty that we hit a land, though, guys? Vanishing Light. Okay. Being a little aggressive, but sure. Okay, so pass. Uh huh? Uh -huh. Pass. No blocks here. Pass. I get six. And then a Bark Knuckle Boxer. Ding ya. Alright, so this is a bit much. Um, we got a Boom Blast. I can kill this. I can kill one of these. Tap this twice. Or I can... We're not playing that land. To ping them twice. Or I could play this. Have a body to block this. A body to... You know what? I gotta kill that now. While it's like that. Um, so... What is this? Get the food. Um... This is a sorcery, so let's just do this now. And let's get the treasure next. Uh, no attack, end turn. I could gift the treasure. I don't think I should. Well, they have five lands out. So I don't think gifting a treasure here is too bad here. All right, so. Do I block and then use gift the food, crumb and get it? No. Pass. Do one of those like that. Pass the damage. Fecund green shell. That's bad. We're we're pretty dead here. I have this in my sealed pool, and this is just this is just Nadu. It is just a Nadu. Its name might as well be Nadu. Um hmm. I think I have to play no. We have to play to the board, right? It's like I want to play this so that I can gain life off of off of that. If I play this, I can get the crumb and get it, and oh, tax end turn. I can get the value off of the crumb and get it. We have no way of dealing with fecund green shell, unfortunately. Like we don't have a banishing light in the deck. 
Would have been nice. What does this do? Target creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Okay. They probably paid for it. Yep. Resolve. 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 Okay. Are we just dead here? That's a good question. Crumb and get it. Alright, so pass. Uh, put this in front of this. Put this in front of this. Two blockers. Tap this. And then play Crumb and get it here. Ping it. Okay. We're trying here, guys. Please don't have a thing. Please don't have, like, flick a coin or something. Ah, oh, screw that. I hate that. All right, so unfortunately, we can't just kill that right now. Done. Done. Uh, no attacks right now. Because if I attack with this, then they have the opportunity to sneak it in with these. I need to kill that with boom, booming blast. Or I can play pleated provision or put a token on this, gain a life, and then have a 2 3 flyer. Uh, I definitely don't want to let this through. Long. Woo. Okay. Is that a fight? Oh, wow. Okay. And those creatures fight each other. That was a huge punt from our opponent. Um, block like this. Block like that. Block like that. Take three? Uh, yeah. Gain some life. Excuse me. Sorry, creature you control without flying. Oh! Okay. That flies. Not bad. Um, no attacks. Now I can triple block the fecund green shell. The problem is, uh, yeah, alright, they're making me do it. If they have a combat trick, we just lose here. Uh, next turn, we can kill this and play the Moonrise Cleric. Oh, thank God. Okay. Great for me. Okay, next. Um, no attacks right now. End turn. Because this trades with that. Maybe I should have went in with the Flyer. This thing has... Oh, it gains me life when it attacks. So we're going to start attacking with the Moonrise Cleric and hope to, to bring ourselves back to where we need to be. Um, if they use a comp... Well, let's see, a fight spell. Targeting... Fight, fight. Specifically fight targeting their Intrepid Rabbit. We can kill it with Boom Blast. Blooming Blast. Wow, okay. There's a lot of alliteration in this set. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether or not I care for it. Pass. My turn. Ramble Guard, Capitan. Alright, so land. Captain. And next. Target this. Back at this. Anal. Um, Alright. End turn. Leaving up the mana for Blooming Blast. Mm hmm. Opponent is just passing. Next. Gonna be conservative here. Um, uh, trying to think if I should be attacking with the life creed duo as well. My turn. Indle spark duo. I'm keeping this mountain in my hand in case I draw the uh, discard a card draw two. This. 
We're back in it, baby. And turn. And then next turn, we can just split the difference of power between these two. Whenever you give a gift draw. Okay. And then the Kindle Spark duo allows us to do three to the fat. No, sorry, five to the face with tapping this and then the... Okay, never mind. Um, and then the the three damage that Blooming Blast just does to the face. And if we view Battlefield, I sort of regret not having done that earlier with the original Blooming Blast. What? It was pretty early and I was curious if, and and worried as to whether or not they were splashing for something and they just never hit that, that, that third mana color, right? That's why I didn't do it earlier. But three damage to the creature's controller is like lightning bolt, isn't it? Yeah, I probably should have just like thrown it at their face as well. Just like here, have a treasure. <laughs> ah, my face. Um. All right. Sure. We're four and one going into round six. Four and one going into round six. That's actually pretty good. We got our entry fee back. And by entry fee, I mean like. I used the token, whatever. It was a token yesterday if you bought it in the store, discounted. Otherwise, you know, 1400 is pretty close to 1500, plus you keep all your rares. Oh. Oh no. This is unkeepable. I got a mulligan that. Keep. And the head of the homestead to the bottom. We do want to play duo first, but I will play the short bow if we have to. Um, there we go. Another white source would be good. Play this. Play this. And end our turn there. We have the valley quest caller, which can make that not bigger. Never mind. Um, there we go. Play land. This on that. Uh, play this. Dong. Enter. It's a two four. Mm -hmm. A three three. Pass. Ding ya. Yeah. Okay. What's this? When this creature dies, it deals one damage to target player. Okay. Um. I want to see if they'll do it. If they block, I tap this, I Blooming Blast. Kill it, All right? Take into two. We're going to Offspring this. Auto pay. Play this. And end turn. We could double block this, right? And then bing them twice, which I think is pretty good here. Yeah, that's a two, three. It's not really doing anything on this board, but it might. This is really, I guess, difficult for them because it kind of splits the difference between where they're going to want to put their um, removal. I think it might be okay to... Ooh, Quake Tusk board. Trample, reach, haste. Okay. Um, This is five, right? One, two... Mm? We killed like one of these. I mean, two of them, sorry. Yeah. I'll tap this to ping you. Gone, gone. Sure. To target player. Sure. Um, white. Put this on that. Next. Attack with this little guy. It's a 3 4, so he'll eat your creature. Um, and end turn. Opponents at that life total where it becomes very, very good that we have Blooming Blast in our hand. And at this point, when they have six lands out, I don't mind giving them a treasure.
I just would also like to draw a non a non. Uh, that's a trap. No blocks. That's just their way of telling me I have a combat trick. And since Blooming Blast doesn't do outright three damage, uh, I'm not going to risk that. Another land. Um, uh, mouse, Otter. This is a rabbit, right? Lizard, Mouse, Otter, or Raccoon you control. Lizard. Make it a 3 2. Just gonna send it in. I'll play land. Next. God Vigilance. Sure. Pass priority. Sure. Ping ya. Put this on you. Now I can't block this 3-3 three, three anymore, and that's a shame. Uh, twice damage. Ah, uh, that sucks so much. Alright, uh, I can't do anything about that. Like, there's no, um, there's no... There's no way for Blooming Blast to kill that, right? So, if I could, that would've been great. Pass. We're gonna take three here. God, our draws have been like absolutely abysmal. Absolutely abysmal! Next, end turn. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lands. Innkeeper's talent. Okay. That's just, that's probably gonna win them the game right here. Level two. Resolve. So their permanents have ward one. Level three, yep. Pass. All right, Oof. A five five with ward one. Cool. This seems very fair. Um, see pod squire. Put this on that next end turn. Ooh. Reptilian recruiter. Oh, that just kills me. All right. Yeah, good game. Cause I can like. I can't. Well, I couldn't block that. Hold on. View battlefield. View battlefield. The creature's power is two or less, or if you control another lizard, they do. Gain control, untap it, and gains haste. Yeah, so they just hit us for five here. That sucks. Um, I, I could have killed that too, but like it just does what it does before that even matters. Leave match. Ah! It'd have been nice if we drew a real card instead of like the six other lands that we drew. Um, what was it? Four and two going into round seven. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. We, we cut a land. Should I be playing 15 lands? Should I be playing 15 lands? Like, that seems bad, right? Go first? Yeah, sure. Um, we'll play this for white. I think we don't have any double reds, right? Yeah, so it's a white land. And we'll play this for red. Play this. What is this? Roughshod. Okay. Otter ball antics. Okay. Um play this. Play this duo. This will be one of those times where I, I think to myself, man, it'd be nice if I Harnester of Storms. Cast a creature. Let me exile the top. Okay. Um, this makes a Quick one, yeah. Next, I'll attack. Cool. Let the damage land. Damn. And channeler. Enter. 
this is now we're at the point where I would like some lands. All right, light shell duo. Okay, non creature or otter spell. Okay, and they oh, that has flashback, that's why. Surveil two. Okay, pass. Um, Inya. Okay, there's a land. Uh, let's see. We'll play this. Oh! I'm out of mana. Okay. I, was, I have, like, one red source. Ah! Okay. Mmm. Uh, no attacks right now, because you just eat my creature and turn. Alright, so that's got prowess, so I can't really block it either. Maybe the... Oh, no. I need a red source to, like, start doing stuff with this. Although, if I play it, I could just put a thing on it. Agate Assault, sure. That makes sense. Killing the Essence Chandler before it gets too big. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. Watch, we draw the other bat now. Pearl of Wisdom. Oh, boy. Okay. Pass. Yeah, there's no reason to not attack with that. Um, am I taking eight here? God, that is that is a whole ass a lot of damage. Pass. Well, I guess I could actually just block like that, and that's just free. Pass. Sure. Ping ya. And another land. Um, third creature you control without flying. Uh, let's see. And trample, right? I feel like the best thing I can do here is swing out with both. Next, attack with this and with this. Okay. Bong, bong. Bing bong, uh, and turn. God damn, that light shell duo is going to be a problem. <sighs> but then again, so is this otter ball antics. Just being a, a spell that you can, whenever a non token bird you control enters, create a 1 1. Wow. That's nuts. Okay. My turn. Sure. There's the flying thing. Uh, I put this on that. It's not going to be good enough. But it'll be better that it is on there. Right? Um. Ping ya. Okay, next. Attack with this because it has vigilance. you for five and and turn it's still a four five and you don't have yeah you use the bird knight okay it doesn't have prowess on top of it tempest on glare okay yeah makes sense till end of turn so that's gone thankfully mm, yeah All right, good game, hey. Not bad. Um, ooh, we ranked up to gold one. All right, we had three damage in our hand. Um, we had the ability to, I guess we put this on this, we attack with this, and then I guess they have to block, right? Yeah, yeah, late match. Then they have to block, but then we still like ping them every turn. Um, that's already ping plus three damage plus ping and then the next turn ping all right so claim and claim and we're five we're five and two this can go south at any moment now at any moment here's our next opponent five and two going into round seven eight who knows at this point
Um, pretty good. Pretty good hand. I'll play the Rock Face Village first. Um, I'd like to get in with Seed Glaive Mentor. Early and fast and hard. Please don't play a next uh, two X a two two. Please don't play anything. Please just don't play anything. A one three. Perfect. Bloom blast. It's a three two. And then oh, that might be too slow, but we're gonna have to play that next turn and hope that this thing survives another turn. I also hope that they uh, play something that I can kill with Blooming Blast in like a turn or two. Oh wow, okay. And they missed the land drop. I think we play this and then we pass. And then next turn we can just double spell here with uh, Quest Caller, which gives that, it's a mouse and that's a bird. Plus one, plus one. Moonrise Cleric, sure. Alright. Cool. Is that it? They might have that combat trick, which would be very good here. Alright, so land. West Caller. Okay. Target that. Gives it another token. Next. 4-4 four, four and a 6-5. Sure. Um, do I kill them both? I definitely killed the quest caller. Let's let the damage happen. Oh, we definitely killed them both. Okay. And then I guess we'll play the Kinders Kindle Spark below. Uh, next turn we can head to the homestead, right? And just have like a massive board with a 2-3 that's giving them all plus one plus one. And I think that that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. I'm surprised they traded their flyer for my non-flyer. I didn't math there properly, though. Is it X4, is it 3, 4, and a 2, 3? I guess we did 7? Oh! You know what it was? When the other creature dies, the other one loses a bit of toughness. Okay. Okay, so done there. Um, creature you control without flying. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, crumb and get it seems fine. Actually, not you. And end turn. These flyers doing some real good work here. Kind of glad that they're here. Uh, play something small. Play something I can Blooming Blast. It's so mean. Uh, they did kill the other thing, right? Let's see. Oh, they don't even know about that. Stargaze for two. Okay, so they're going to draw two. They're going to lose two. Um, are they dead? I tap this. I attack with everything. Except for the Kindle Spark Duo, right? They have to block one of these things. They take the four in the air. And then I tap Duo, I Blooming Blast something. Oh, that's great. Okay. Get the treasure. Kill that. Two attackers. Next. Ding ya. Next. There you go. Good game. Woo! We didn't even do the thing. We didn't even do the thing. View battlefield. We didn't even do the thing with making the rabbits. Alright. Leave match. Uh, we didn't even make the rabbits!
All right, claim that. We are five, six, and two. Going into the final round, six and two. Um, it feels nice when we actually just draw the cards that we need, right? Like, it's just like, ah, yes, okay, cool. Oh boy, oh boy. Bloom Blast, Charger, Quest Caller, Channeler. Oh, this is such a good hand, but I can't keep it because we can't. We do have, uh, fine. How to be greedy. Stupid ass greed of mine. Let's play this. It's a rabbit bird. Bat and mice. Okay. I wish I could Blooming Blast. Oh, I can. I can gift. No. I can't gift to myself. Okay. I definitely have to kill that now. Um. Because they're fixing for something. So, we definitely just kill it. Did miss a land drop though. That sucks. I was too greedy. Agate Assault. Okay, Jackdaw Savior. You know what? Fuck it. Yep, it's my only, th it's the only thing I can do. I should have been gifting them treasure. No, if I gifted them two treasure, I I hate to see it. See, they're splashing for something. Can you imagine they just like drop a five drop out of nowhere. Like ah, cool. Oh thank God. Okay. We can agate assault that. And that's fine. Um. Do sir. What is this there? Surveil one. Yep. That's their engine. Okay. Doing this now. Looks like they have something. Please don't have, like, the indestructible blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, that wasn't ideal. It wasn't ideal. Sure. Uh, okay. West caller. And that's it. I'm actually gonna pass here because if they have a way to destroy this, I need to be a little protected. Life Creed Duo number two. Sure. Vanishing Light. Uh, indestructible. Not hexproof. Sure. That sucks for me. Um. Yep. There's the land that I need to do this. We were a little mana screwed in the beginning, and that. Might be the reason why we kind of fell behind a little bit too much back here. Um, I don't know what they're splashing. Yeah, okay. I don't know what they're splashing white for or blue for rather. Okay. Sure. Okay. And then they get the surveil here. But they're splashing for something. All right. Play this guy. Play this guy. Game life. All attack. I wish I could leave up the one white mana for crumb and get it, but. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, no blocks here. Summer, don't start. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. Did you finish your mush? I On target creature eye control. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, it's a 2-3. And they surveil. 
Okay. Short bow. Pretty good here. Uh, hold on. Cancel. Right? Oh, no. It's just a quick one. Zed. And end turn. If they have something to kill Life Creed Duo, they have something to kill Life Creed Duo. Good game. Alright, what do you want? What do you want? Here's, here's the thing. Oh, look at her! Look at her! What? What was it? It was so important. I was in the middle of a match that I lost. Okay, these things happen. Opponent's deck was very good. Um, all right, so let's see. View battlefield. Yeah, they just basically had what they needed. I can't look at the opponent's graveyard because of how the the platform is working right now. Uh, leave match. But yeah, they had a lot of removal, and they had it like exactly when they needed it. And uh, maybe I needed to. No, I don't think. I don't think giving them treasures would have been a good idea, especially because they were slowly becoming Esper. Uh, we did go. F Six and three, which is pretty good. I'll say that right now. Six and three is fantastic. And um, if you're watching on the YouTube and you enjoyed that, please like, share, and subscribe. But more importantly, come over to twitch.tv slash record. Link in the description where you can stream video games, leather crafts, and getting yelled at by my cat every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from around four to around eight Eastern Standard Time. But with that out of the way, I hope your, your, uh, your drafts go well. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a good evening, folks.